In the wake of election day, we caught up with Utah voters to get their reaction and analysis. I'm very bummed, a little bit scared, still in shock. I was really worried about it. I'm really happy I had the results. No matter who we talked with, the results of the presidential race was top of mind at Hidden Peak Coffee and Roasting Company in Salt Lake, where they offered anyone who voted a free cup of coffee. Manager Sarah Hansen says obviously her Republican customers are having a better day than their Democratic counterparts. I ask almost every customer that comes in, and some of them are super happy, overjoyed, couldn't be, couldn't be more grateful, and then others come in and they're a little bit let down. And Ken Nielsen of Taylorsville fits into the latter category. He's not happy about seeing Donald Trump defeat Kamala Harris for a second stint in the Oval Office. I do not believe that, unlike some of my friends here, <clears throat> I do not believe that Trump is capable of running the country responsibly and I have very little faith in his ability to look out for the little guys. I think he's, he's, got a, he's got an audience that he plays to, and we're not it. On the other hand, Corey Smith of Murray is thrilled to see Trump become the president-elect, though he believes Trump will face many challenges. I feel like the work's just starting, kind of. It's uh, Donald Trump's got a lot to do. He's, he still has got issues that's, you know, are we going to work with him or is the government going to work with him? I don't know. And then there are those who didn't support Trump who hope both sides of the political spectrum can come together for the good of the country. Just lead with kindness and that's what I hope everyone can take away from this election. From Salt Lake City, Mark Blaine, Fox 13 News, Utah.